Hello friends, my name is Nimo Fasha Tofi. This is Irindi Wanga TV show. Today we're going to talk about a China business visa. As usually, I'm told you uh, so many information about China visa or about it in China. Today we're going to talk about uh, China business visa. So to visit China for business purpose, you will need typical uh, to apply for EMU visa. Business visa. Here are some common requirements for obtaining a business visa for China. Uh, the second one is invitation letter. You will need invitation letter from a Chinese company or organization that explains the purpose of your visit, uh, including details such as a duration of stay, intended activities, and your relationship with the inviting entity. Uh, the second uh, document is passport. Uh, your passport should be valid for at least six months beyond your intended stay in China, and it should have at least one black visa page. The third document is uh, a complete visa application form. You need to fill out the visa application form accurately and completely. You can usually obtain this form from the Chinese embassy or consulate website. The document for is photo. You will need to provide a recent uh, passport sized uh, photograph with a white background. Check the specific size and format requirement with the embass or consulate. The document five is proof of travel arrangement. It is common to provide proof of round trip flight reservation or itinerary, including details of your intended entry and exact date. Document six for a China business visa. Business document. Depending on the purpose of your visit, you might need to provide additional supporting documents such as a business data, a conference, seminar invitation, or proof of business activities. Uh, so, document seven is financial document. You might be required to submit financial documents such as, as bank statements to demonstrate that you have sufficient funds to cover your expenses during your stay in China. Document 8 is visa fee. There will be a fee associated with the visa application process. The amount may vary depending on your nationality and the type of visa you are applying for. Remember this. This requirement can vary depending on your country of residence, purpose of visiting, and Chinese embassy or consulate where you apply. It cracks still to double check the specific permits with the China embassy or consulate in your country before applying for a business visa. Thank you so much, Jabres. Tomorrow we will check China marriage visa. We will uh, check if you wanna to go in China for marriage purpose.
So when you come back, uh, let us check a document required to entry in China. The specific document required for entry into China can vary depending on your nationality. Purpose of visiting and types of visa you are applying for. However, uh, here are some common documents that are typical required for entry into China. Uh, document one is passport. You need the passport to entry in China. This passport uh, should be valid at least six months and have one uh, visa black page. So the document two. Document two is Chinese visa. So most travel to China will require a visa. This visa is the type of visa will depend on your purpose of visit. Example, tourist, work, study, a business, and so you will need to apply for any obtaining the appropriate visa before your trip. Document three, alive departure cards. After alive in China, you will need to complete a alive departure card, which is usually provided by a airline or a variable at the immigration counter. This card is required to provide the basis information about your trip and your intended style in China. Document four is proof of accommodation. It is advisable to carry documents or documentation that show you accommodation arrangements in China, such as hotel reservation or invitation letter from a host or organization if you are stay with someone. Document 5, return on word ticket. You may be asked, you may be asked to provide the proof of your return on word travel, such as a confirmed flight or train ticket leaving in China. Proof of sufficiency found is it's recommended to carry evidence of such a, a sufficiency found is to cover your expenses during your stay in China, such as bank statement or credit card statement. Document 7 is health declaration or health document. Yes, depending on your destination or your recent travel history, you may be required to provide health related documentation. This could include a negative COVID-19 test result, proof, vaccination, or health declaration form. The specific required can change, so it's important to check the latest health related guidelines and requirements before traveling. It's uh, crucial to note that these are general document requirements. Additional documents may be requested based on your individual uh, circumstances or the types of visa you are applying for. It's always best to consider the nearest China embassy or consulate or visit the, the official website to obtain the most accurate update information regarding entry requirements for China. Thank you so much. See you. Don't forget to make subscribe, like, share, and comment for more information about China's visa or chain information for truck for all passengers around the world. Bye. See you.